This is Anthony from All Metal Music. I'm outside here with Imperial from Krieg. Um, you just played a few shows recently for Mini East Coast Store. How did those shows go? So far, we've been really pleased with them. The crowd response has been really good. The turnout's been good. We've been able to play with bands that I respect and, and enjoy, like Infernal Stronghold, Sewer Goddess, Dead Times. And uh, and getting to play with Woe is really cool. They're uh, probably my favorite new U.S. black metal band, so it's worked out really well. The Isolationist just came out. What can the fans expect from that album in comparison to previous Krieg albums? It's uh, a lot more diverse. I don't really like to use that word, but that's the best way to put it. Wait for the cop to go by. Um, that's the sound of the police. <laughs> we were listening to that earlier in the van. Uh, it's, um, it's a lot darker. It's uh, a lot harsher than anything I've done in the past maybe eight or nine years. Um, it, it has a, a lot of influence from the, the newer Profanatica, newer Beharit, Leviathan, a lot of stuff outside of metal like Public Image Limited and uh, Rudimentary Penai. And uh, I don't know, I'm really bad at, at, at describing uh, how, how it, it differs, but it's just a darker, more personal album. And I think that that shows through the music. You mentioned Pro Fanatica as an influence, and you recently played some shows with Pro Fanatica. And how was it to play with a band that you consider an influence? Getting to open up for Pro Fanatica was probably the highlight of, uh, of Krieg so far since I started doing it again in uh, 2008. It's uh, something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to, to play with them with Led Me Behind the Drum Kit instead of uh, other session members. And uh, it, was, it was really great. Really sick. The Isolationist is the first full-length Krieg album since you became active with Krieg again. How was your mindset different for this album compared to your previous albums? I had more personal expectations out of it. It was something that I didn't really consider how the fans would feel about it, how longtime Krieg supporters would feel, or how new people would feel. It was something that I needed to have done exactly how I wanted it to be done, and so far, I'm, I'm very happy with how the reactivation has occurred, and I'm very proud of the album. I've very thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm not trying to sound like a mark, but I liked it. <laughs> Why did you decide to start making Krieg albums again after you disbanded it, and then got it back going? For the last few years, uh, while I wasn't doing Krieg, I was active in other bands, but nothing was really as personally therapeutic or satisfying creatively for me as Krieg has been. And uh, a few years ago, I, I started getting the itch again to do it, and I still had some songs left over that I, I'd been working on, and there was a, going to be a second Twilight album. Not the not the Monument to End Times, but we got together in 2006 to rehearse for a new album, and I had tons of ideas, and none, nothing that, that we worked on in that session actually came to fruition, so I continued working on those songs, and then I just kept having new ideas, and they didn't fit with anything but Creek, so... It just, it felt right. It's not sort of like a cash-in, like we're obviously not doing just a few shows like Emperor would and asking for $5,000. Uh, <laughs> it's more just uh, business as usual for me, doing uh, small shows with underground bands that I support and respect, and uh, trying to do really dark, personal, no-frills black metal. And I'll say right now, I'm not trying to attach any horns and whistles on the thing, but I couldn't really believe that I got a shirt, Krieg shirt for ten dollars. You go to a concert, most shirts are like twenty bucks, but you're selling them for ten bucks. I was about to buy two shirts, but I ended up spending the other ten bucks on beer, <laughs> which is a worthwhile cost still.
I don't want to uh, to be one of those bands that, that merchandises myself and whores myself out for the most amount of money. I, I don't want to make any sort of real profit off of patches or shirts or, or anything that, that I do on my own. Uh, we just need we, we need to make money back for gas and food and cigarettes and drugs. And beyond that, I'm not trying to pay my mortgage or my car insurance or even my fucking cell phone bill with the money I make from Greek. You've worked with a lot of musicians over the years. Who are some of your favorites to work with? And are there any that you have not yet worked with that you'd like to work with eventually? My favorites uh, that I've worked with uh, in Krieg and, and in other projects are, are definitely uh, Rest from Leviathan. He's, uh, he's really taught me a lot about composition and different fucked up ways to make sounds that I never really thought of before. Uh, another that was really great to work with was John Gelzo from Pro Fanatica for the Royal Arts Blaspheme record. Uh, that was more just, it was, it was great to be able to work with one of your heroes. No one really gets that sort of opportunity because bands that, that influence other bands are generally stuck up snobbish assholes, whereas the, the guys from Pro Fanatica are, are very, very good people and very supportive. <laughs> Korea is not a political band, but you've often been mistaked as a political band because <laughs> people just seem to want to put political things in it. And I know you don't put political things in it, but have at it and say what you want and against people that want to make you political. Fuck politics and fuck all small-minded assholes who think just because I have a German band name that I somehow took part in World War II. The, the fact is, is that word, the German word for war, has existed for hundreds of years before the, the 1930s and 40s. And people just want to attach anything German to, to that era in time, which is complete bullshit. That would be like attaching everything American to the Civil War or everything in Holland to marijuana and <laughs> coffee shops. Just because I, I'm friends with bands that are obviously right-leaning doesn't mean that I follow their politics. These are just people that I respect and support. They have their right to say whatever they want with their music, just as I have mine. Anybody who thinks that free speech is only okay as long as you're saying what you, they want you to say are completely full of shit and weak-minded people, and I have no time for that. I have no time for politics. I have no time for any of this Nazi shit. Do you have any plans for the future coming up, such as tours and your new CD came out? Do uh, you have any tours coming up? We were trying to get something going on the West Coast for uh, November of this year, and all of the plans pretty much fell apart. Uh, I, I've basically been focusing all my attention on the, the record which came out in the States last week and in Europe next week. Uh, I would like to, to get back to Europe to be able to do a tour sometime next year, and we're talking about doing West Coast in November. Uh, beyond that, I haven't really thought about too much. I try not to put too much on my plate now because I'm not a responsible person and I end up, if I have too many, too many plans going, I end up fucking at least one of them up and I don't want to do that anymore. Now that the isolationist is out, how satisfied are you with the final product of that album? About as satisfied as someone who, who's constantly looking at what they do with a, a lot of scorn and skepticism. Uh, I'm very, very satisfied with it, 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 which is different. Normally I can find a lot of things wrong with every album I do, but I'm very, very proud with how it came out. I'm very satisfied with, uh, with how everything's worked out. So... I don't. I don't know, man. I, I really don't. Don't have much to to say without sounding like a, a self-aggrandizing asshole with it. Well, I thought it was a very good album. I try to sound like a mark again, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, that was all I had planned for the interview. Is there anything you'd like to say in conclusion? 
Thanks for the uh, the interview and, and the support and for fucking raging on the show and coming out at, what the fuck time is it, like three in the morning? So. Oh, you're fucking nuts. So thank you for your support, man. <laughs>